Okay, the juggernaut has been unleashed. The one world government action is actually starting to be impressed, stuck onto every person who is alive on the earth. And you need a copy of this book for your survival alongside of your Bible. I'm serious. It's like pretty much the most important book that I own next to my Bible. A Dictionary of Early Christian Beliefs was put together hmm. by one guy. He pulled out 700 topics from the early church writings. And basically, any question that he would ask the early Christians, like about angels or about baptism or about men, women, about Greek philosophy, there's 700 topics. And each topic has a presentation right from the scripture first. And then it moves on to quotes from the first wave of early Christian teachers before 300 AD. Almost all of them were beaten, killed, executed for their life and for speaking out. Okay, the juggernaut is moving. And if you do not get super serious about your Christianity stuff, God may actually rescue people that were angry at Christianity because they were abused by it. And if you're standing in Christianity in a sloppy, casual way where you're not following the Jesus rules and his teachings, your fate could be dangerous. So, in this book, there's this wonderful thing. The, the section on Eucharist, which is communion. Eucharist means celebration. It means celebration party. The section on Eucharist has a, uh, another subsection called Letters of Communion. And I will read to you a couple of the quotes from the early Christian writers about sending a person forth from your communion group to go to a new one. Even if you don't ex know exactly where that's going to be, a person is traveling with a written letter about their strengths, their weaknesses, the blessing that they are, and asking people to receive this person. This is a job. This is a responsibility. It's like matchmaking. It's like caring for the animals and turning it into meat. You have to follow good rules and good sense. So, letters of communion. For this reason, I beg you that you will designate by name in the certificate of communion only those whom you yourselves witness, who you have known, whose penitence you see to be very near to full satisfaction. What this is saying is you're saying that this person that I'm sending forth or this list of people, these people are dead serious about living a sinless life and avoiding sin. That was Cyprian around the year 250. Anti-Nicene Writings, volume 5, page 292. Next one. We have communicated this fact to you in order that you may write him and receive letters of communion from him. So this is one group writing to another group, asking them to write to an individual and to receive letters of communion from that individual. Hey, we should be traveling with letters that are written by the people who have been near us and who can describe who we are and what we're up to and whether we're serious about the Jesus stuff or not. And I'm telling you, I was raised in a Christianity that wasn't serious about the Jesus stuff. Man, there was so much missing. Next, that was Malchion. Malchion. If any brother, man or woman, comes in from another parish and brings recommend, recommend, <laughs> recommendation letters... If any brother, man or woman, comes in from another parish and brings recommendation letters, let the deacon be the judge of that 
affair. That's from the Apostolic Constitutions. You will be wise to read through them. It's a lot of details of what was going on in the churches. It's kind of like a, a canned overview of all the various things and issues that they would have to deal with. So, those are three articles about letters of communion. And I'm telling you, the time is coming. The juggernaut has been unleashed. You must be very, very ready to be hated, persecuted, slandered, misunderstood, and just disappear. You will have family members that will just disappear, and you will never know what happened to them. That was what life was like during the persecution eras in the Roman Empire. There were atmospheres of relative peace, but then there were atmospheres of heavy persecution. And you might discover that your brother and your dad are just gone, and you have no idea where they went. So as you are traveling around in your life, I tell you the truth. Church is a communion group in the home with a cluster of families and amazing single people together. Church is in the home where you can admit your faults, where you can express your own concerns about your inappropriate behavior constantly. And that's where the children learn from as well. This is actually the most wonderful psychological responsibility in the whole human family. What Jesus instructed and what was going on for the first 300 years with this, when you come together, first of all, most importantly, you don't pray, you don't worship, you don't do a nice study. First, the elder in your neighborhood says, does everyone feel completely at peace with God? And does everyone feel completely at peace with all other peoples? Because if you don't, right now, we're just going to deal with it now. Okay, come on, celebrate your weaknesses. You get to take off the mask of the world and talk about where you've had a problem. Okay, boys and girls, your daddy, got to pray for your daddy. It's been a rough week. And the children then are able to follow suit. And if it's a big cluster of families, perhaps it's just the men that are mentioning the troubles that have come to their family, and you're dealing with those things more individually. But the description of the disciples in a letter of communion is a fascinating thing that you should add to your home communion group swiftly. I'm talking about now. Hallelujah. Do shoko do boko.